Hello, and welcome to Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology. Um, in this clip, we're looking at the um, example response for the GCSE Design Technology NEAs. Um, we've got, um, I'm just going to give you a commentary, I'm going to walk through these, we're going to look at the mark scheme, and this, this sheet we're looking at here in this clip is existing products. So we're calling the sheet existing products, or product analysis of existing products. And in this, we've already um, identified the area we're going to be looking at. We've already made our client interview, and we've kind of closed down to, we've got an idea of what we're going to make. So what we look at now is, obviously we're not going to design this product in a vacuum. We're going to look at other products on the market that we could possibly um, get some information from, to, and, and to give us some design inspiration. So, um, in terms of the mark scheme here, if we look at the highest mark band, um, in, invest, a comprehensive investigation into the work of others that complete, c clearly informs um, ideas, but also uh, uh, extensive evidence in the investigation of design possibilities taking place. So they're, they're the two sort of things we're trying to tick to get our 10 marks in, the, in this AO1. Um, so let's look at these different ones. As I say, here we've got a dark background. We've got um, one, two, three, six products, which is good. They're quite varied products, which is nice. <clears throat> uh, comments here about um, eco-friendly water bottles, if you can see that. So there's eco-friendly water bottles, which is nice, uh, made of ethically sourced wood and less plastics to benefit the environment. So again, we're kind of ticking that box into impact on society, economic and social effects. We want to get that if we're getting the, the, the 10 marks for this. Um, We've looked at these. I don't really understand this 3D engine one, but we've, anyway, we've got a range of products, which is nice. It's laid out just with a, a, a block of text about each one. Um, <coughs> the, the, the next one here is, is they've called this one um, uh, Investigating the Work of Others. We've got a little um, up the top here. I found this page helpful, so we get, we're looking a bit of getting that analysis. Remember, we've got 20 marks at the end for analysis, so we need to put analysis on each sheet here. So um, what this is just saying, uh, I found this page helpful. That uh, helps me what to put in my activity pack and not to put in. Uh, many people want <clears throat> here. They've. I think there were pictures of the products here, which may have been. Um, redacted by the exam board so I think there would have originally been a little picture of each product or a description of the product um, and we've got aesthetics target market unique features my own opinion which I like that's good it's easy to add just something there so you can see that they've just added their own opinion about it I think it can do well in shots because everything to keep children this one's for a children's activity pack as I say um, content what's in it uh, cost and a score out of 10, which is quite nice. You can always use that rating later. So that's nice. That's, uh, whereas this one's kind of quite informally laid out, that's much more formally laid out. Some people might like to do it like that. You might find it easier. And um, this last one, where we've got um, a conclusion in the middle here. If you have a look there, you can see that conclusion. Um, I'll just go up there. You can just have a look at that. So it's quite a... a um, an extensive conclusion there and then two products here so from if you can remember in the in the previous um, sheet this student uh, looked at a whole range of different ideas um, but didn't analyze them so this is wasn't really investigating them this was more that was more just a, a mood board of them here we're looking at um, the needs of the customer. So if we look here, we could just, um, the, the headings that we've used here are size, function, um, aesthetics, uh, ergonomics, Uh, materials, uh, cost, customer need, or which customer it might suit, um, we've got function there, and they've actually added safety as well, 
Um, I don't know about safety. You might want to put safety. Um, we'll put a question mark for that. But there's a list of handy topics that you can use to analyse the products. Um, for materials, I would be absolutely specific about materials. Don't use words like plastic or wood. Be specific about the materials. Cost is useful. Uh, customer analysis is useful. Obviously, aesthetics and ergonomics. Function, how it's going to be used, how the customer might use it. <coughs> Excuse me, any features of the product, they need to be added in there. So, as you can see, they've got clearly, again, quite nice. They've actually found a product they've obviously got uh, at home and actually just done that with the tape measure. And that's great because it's just easy. You get tape measure, take a picture, and you've added some more things. They put sizing in there, which wasn't in that one, so it's actually talked about the sizes and said how it might fit. And also that can relate to, if you can go back and relate to the needs of your client, would be great. Um, a nice little comment then there on aesthetics, if you can see that. It says, um, let's look at this one. Um, it says, this is an old bin, so the colour has gone, make it look even worse. The basic shape is, is, is basic. So there's just a comment on aesthetics. Um, Again, they've mentioned injection moulding. They they said plastic, but it would be really nice if you can if you can look on the plastic and see the the symbols that it's made from. Actually, name the plastic. I think that would would be nicer, especially if you're looking to try and get higher marks. So, there's the three examples of that. We've got that one, that one, and that one. So three very different layouts, but this is existing products, which we're calling sheet number four for our GCSE coursework. Okay. Thank you for watching Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology.